Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Andrew here with Ambient Endeavors. Now you maybe have noticed there's been a whole slew of guitars that have come through the studio in the last few months and it's been really fun and exciting for me to get to check them out. I enjoy um, playing familiar body shapes and, and guitars and models from companies like Fender and uh, that I've been working with for a while, but it's also really cool for me to get to check out um, some lesser known brands and some guitars and, and models that I've been intrigued by over the years. Uh, so I'm excited to do that today and show you a guitar from Reverend Guitars, a builder, a company you might not be as familiar with, uh, perhaps in your area or in your sort of sphere, you haven't even encountered uh, guitars from Reverend, but I've been uh, personally really impressed every time I've seen or picked up and played a Reverend. So today we're checking out the Double Agent OG model. So this one is in one of their newer color schemes, uh, Periwinkle Burst, which is a really, uh, really beautiful color that they added to the line recently. Yeah, we're gonna run down the specs on this guitar and share some uh, sounds and all that uh, later. But first, just a little note about Reverend Guitars. So they have an interesting model. They get these guitars made overseas in a factory uh, or factories in Korea. They bring them over to their shop over in Toledo, Ohio. And they do just a really meticulous, detailed setup and quality control check on all the guitars before they leave. And so that's a huge value add that they bring uh, while also being able to keep the price on these guitars uh, fairly competitive and, and reasonable. So the word that comes to mind when I think of Reverend is just solid. Uh, if you've ever picked one of these guitars up, you know they're just a little bit heavier than your normal guitar. Uh, they feel substantial and, and well built. Um, the tones that come out of them are refined and bold just solid. For me, when I got this guitar, uh, I'm in the Midwest too, I'm in Minnesota, and it's just brutally cold sometimes in the winter, uh, and I got this guitar in the middle of one of those stretches, let it acclimate a little bit in the box, and then took it out. And from the first chord I strummed, it was nearly perfectly in tune, uh, and the setup has felt great, the action is, is just how I like it, uh, the fret ends are smooth, all sorts of, uh, of these details that come through in a really well set up guitar. Uh, were there and just that initial um, first impression from this guitar was really really good uh, I've had like I said a number of guitars in the studio here in the last few months and it's so rare that I take one out and strum the first chord and it's even remotely in tune so kudos to Reverend um, that model and that sort of like uh, approach to really uh, diving into those setups and, and fine-tuning the instruments before they leave uh, showed has shown to me so so let's dive into this guitar like I said it's the double agent OG um, it has a p90 in the neck and a humbucker in the bridge a traditional three-way pickup selector here volume and tone uh, 22 frets on a 25 and a half inch scale rosewood fretboard and a really nice roasted maple neck there are locking tuners you get a tunematic bridge and some nice binding single binding around the the top part of the guitar here and like i said a really beautiful periwinkle burst they've got a lot of uh, color options and, and color combinations on their website for across different models and things i've always been drawn to a lot of the colors that they offer and they just introduced a few new ones for this year 2023. Uh, one of the huge selling points on these guitars in my opinion is this base contour knob that they put on most if not all of their guitars so it's essentially a passive filter uh, that cuts some low end as you dial it uh, back. So you can really pull um, hotter humbuckers or P90s down into like near single coil territory by just rolling off some of that low end. It gives a really cool um, flexibility to do gradual um, tone shaping or dramatic shaping if you really want to almost switch the type of pickup sound you have. So that's a huge perk. Um, that's a really, really cool feature that's sort of a trademark of Reverend Guitars. Uh, in some ways and we'll um, get into some of those sounds and some of the ways that you can use that in the sound samples too. I also really like how the body style sort of um, is familiar in some ways with the angles and the contouring and things but it's also its own thing it's pretty unique um, so it, it sits well in my lap it's got a tummy cut on the back here too to make it comfortable for when you're standing and playing uh, just a really nice feeling guitar, a really comfortable guitar to play whether you're sitting or standing up. 
So yeah, let's uh, dive into some sounds from this guitar. We'll get some clean and dirty tones. We'll explore the three different pickup options and that bass contour control and just let you get a feel for what this double agent OG sounds like. I'm gonna be running through a UA Dream and then switching on various effects on my board here. I'll note that in the video. Check it out. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
So there it is. That's the double agent OG from Reverend Guitars. Um, a whole smattering of sounds that you can get from this guitar. I think there's some really nice versatility to have this pickup combination with a P90 in the neck, a uh, humbucker in the bridge. And then, like I mentioned, that bass contour control can really allow you to shape those pickups um, into more single coil or sort of thinner, uh, brighter sounds if you really want to. So really versatile guitar. Uh, like I said, from the start, it's it's felt and played really, really nice. Uh, the setup, the action, the intonation, all that have been really spot on right out of the box. So that's been hugely impressive. Uh, a lot of times, you know, if you're watching these types of videos to get a sense of guitars, uh, I, I always like to encourage people to try and find them locally because each guitar, one to the next, can have a very different feel, a very different setup, all that sort of thing. And so... Uh, to be able to play them before you, you know, commit to spending a bunch of money on them is always ideal. Um, and in this case, I, I think the track record that Reverend has proven in my experience and then sort of having this guitar in hand and playing it for a few weeks uh, really would make me a little more comfortable just ordering one online or, or right from Reverend, knowing that that setup, um, that quality control, that attention to detail that they bring to their guitars uh, is consistent and is to be expected. So that's a big selling point um, in my mind and uh, having a versatile guitar that feels really good and plays really good um, is sort of what I see here. Thanks again to Reverend for sending this over. It's been really fun to get to play and um, get familiar with it. Uh, thank you guys for watching this review. Uh, let me know if you've got any questions or comments below in the comments. And uh, if you found this helpful or interesting, please hit subscribe and check out my other videos online here. Take care.